Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to the Venice Let's Build that I've been doing. Um, yeah, so in the last part I asked people to come up with names for this build as it is nameless. Well, it was nameless. Um, and yeah, there was some really good name suggestions. I mean, names I would never have thought of. I, I'm, I normally like to keep it quite simple when I'm coming up with names for things. Um, I'll choose something maybe in the build to name it after or just go with the blatant obvious So if it's I probably would have called it Venice build if it was left to me But um, yeah, everybody had some cool ideas for the name and I thought just to make it fair I would go with the one that had the most likes or at least the one that had the most likes before this video um, Goes out. So yeah, that one was Little Venice and it was made by Hannah Usher, I think it was. I th I'm, I'm sure it was Hannah Usher. Yeah, um, so that one had the most likes, so I thought I would pick that one. Um, also, this one, this build is based around, because I know in the first one, a lot of people were saying they would like to see a restaurant in the build. Um, so I was just making a little place for that. And my idea for this one was I wanted to have a little sort of like square of buildings with like a little courtyard in the middle and that's where there's going to be a couple of little tables for the restaurant and then there is a little bit off the side you can see that I've left there where there's going to be some more little um, restaurant tables and chairs and just when I've been looking at pictures I saw there was some sort of like restaurant -y buildings or I don't know there could have been like cafes or cafe or something but um yeah they had like awnings on the side and the, like loads of little lights hanging off them it looked quite nice um, so yeah well, I just wanted to try and recreate something like that really um, but the building itself I wanted it look like maybe some buildings had been here longer than others and then over time like more buildings had been built around in this sort of square um, like this one I'm working on now I had the idea that that one was probably like the first building that had been built there because um, it looks quite old compared to the other two and yeah right now I was trying to work on a little bell tower sort of area well that's what it is that's what I was trying to create like a bell tower I know realistically it probably would have looked better on the church but I only thought of it while I was doing this so I thought I would just stick it in here um, before I forget because I, I really like the idea but yeah I was just taking one of the lanterns there and some of the um, steel beam like industrial beam things we've got and using them to make a, a little bell for the tower but yeah while I was looking at some pictures for the bell just trying to get some ideas I saw a few buildings with like that metal that that oxidized metal roofing where like it's been open to the elements for so long that it's went that like aqua color um and I could remember like we had the metal roofing option in the game and we had a sort of similar color then once I got in I put that put that like on the roof um it was just it wasn't an aqua color at all it was quite green and that wasn't like no I didn't want that but yeah what I'm working on now this little ball this is like more the color I was going for so I decided just to go with a normal metal colored um roofing and then just try and make my own little roof ornament um, in that like oxidized metal color so that was my idea for that I wanted it to look like it had changed color because it's been um, open to the elements for so long and I, I, my first idea for that little ball was to use the ball fountain that we've already got but it, um, it isn't in that color so I had to try and make my own and it turned out quite well uh, I have made it quite big though later on I do go and size that little ball well that big ball down Um, I just it was standing out a bit too much while I was building I didn't like it <laughs> but yeah the windows I'm working on now I also had the idea of taking one of the wall decorations and um, the little like metal wall decoration thing you'll see I'll get it out in a minute um, yeah because 
there's been a few builds I've done where I've wanted to have one of them little sort of window fences that comes right up next to the window and with the normal fencing tool you can't do that but yeah while I was doing this build I came up with the idea of using that little um, wall decoration which it looks quite nice so yeah we've got that and then yeah in the little courtyard area just putting in a little roof area I do move this up a level though because then later on I had the idea of um, taking that first level and putting some stairs up there making like a little little like walkway area and um, get a few shops in there as well because there was there was quite a few like everybody gave quite a few ideas for what kind of shops we could have in here and um, oh, what were some of the ideas it was a souvenir shop which I really like the idea of and um, there was a bakery what else was it one of the ones I really loved um, but I don't think it's gonna be doable but I thought was like a really amazing idea was like a mask shop which I thought well it's Venice you know what I mean when I think of Venice um, and things that go with that I normally do think of them sort of Venetian masks where it's like some of them have got like the jester hat like um things coming with dangly things on the jester hats yeah like them coming off the masks and the big long pointy noses um yeah but i i really loved the idea i loved it so much that i went into the game and tried to brainstorm some ideas of how i could actually make like a mask shop just looking for all the items saying what i could find and there were some pretty crazy ideas actually i mean at one point i had like a spider in a mannequin's head um but i just i just couldn't find any way to make a mask so i, I don't think that one's going to be doable which is a shame because it was a really good idea um i did have I did have the idea of using the mannequins and putting the face paint on them but then once I tried that out I found out that you can't put face paint on a mannequin which is a bummer but what do you know maybe in a future pack we might get some sort of masks in the objects and I could go ahead and put that in then <laughs> Yeah. But right now, yeah, I'm just working on a sort of little outdoor area for where the restaurant is going to be. Because when I was looking at pictures, I saw these little sort of like areas outside of restaurants that had awnings above them and then had loads of little lights going around the edge of the awning, which I really liked. I really liked the look of that. So yeah, I wanted to try and recreate something like that. Um, and because I'm going to be putting a load of lights around the edge, um, I was just trying to make a little area here with the shelving where I could hide most of the sort of top bit of the light just so it doesn't look like it's dangling from nothing. <laughs> and I also go in and get some of the new sort of string lights that we got with the City Living expansion and I put some of them in as well. I would really do mess about with these shelves more than I should but Oh, hi. it looks nice when it's done though, it does. Um, but yeah, like I've said, first of all, I'm going to be doing all the outside of the buildings and then once that is finished, we'll start doing the um, inside and furnishing everywhere, but, which I hope I'll be able to do because just doing this one, it was already starting to lag a little bit, which I was starting to get a little bit worried about. Just thinking will I be able to finish this build um, I'm sure I will I'll just put up with a lag if I've got to if it's really bad I'll just I'll just have to put up with it won't I <laughs> but yeah I think there's probably room for well there's definitely room for one more island um, maybe two more at a push but I think it's probably best just to do one more island really just with the lag problems um, yeah i think we'll be getting one more island done so yeah hopefully i can get that done in the next part move on to furnishing but yeah um right here what i'm working on is like what i said earlier on it's going to be the little restaurant area so the building 
that has got the brown door on there. That's the one I'm wanting to be, the restaurant. Um, I'm hoping I've made it big enough inside. But yeah, so that is the restaurant. And the one to the side with the white door, I'm not quite sure what I want that to be yet. Um, but I did think about deleting the floors in that. So we've just got the ground floor. Um, just to help with the lag because I'm thinking that there's already so many buildings in this build now which I'm gonna have to finish so anything I can do to help combat the lag is gonna be great but um, yeah just working on putting the windows in round here and I thought I'd keep them more or less the same um, when I was looking at pictures the buildings the windows they were they were quite like that um, quite like a uniform sort of look to it. Uh, this one I change up a little bit and make a little sticky out bit. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna go with, the sticky outfit. Um, yeah the roofing as well, oh, I don't know what it is with this build, just every time I do the roofs on buildings I don't like it. I'm just not good at roofing, I think that's what it is. But normally when I'm doing builds, I like to keep the build quite simple just for the fact that it's just easy at a roof. Um, I'm really bad at roofing buildings. <laughs> normally I would, if I was having too much trouble with it, I'd just flat roof it. But it wouldn't, have, it wouldn't look nice in this build, flat roof, um, on this building. So. Yeah, I'm just sticking with what I've done now. <laughs> yeah, getting the windows in on this one. I've changed it up a bit, gone with a um, green colour on the windows. And yeah, using them new windows we got in City Living, the single sort of version of it. Because I think we already had the double and like the treble version, but we didn't have the single. Um, which we really needed, I can remember so many times going to use them windows and there not being like a single version of it so then I just didn't bother using them. And um, yeah also getting some windows in the courtyard area. I decided to move the roof up a bit and put some windows in up there. It was just looking a bit bare on that roof I thought. And yeah now working on the little walkway area that I was talking about. So there's going to be like a few shops around there. I think I get like five shops in. There's one that's quite big like a medium sized one and then I think there's three smaller ones and I also get entrance um, into like a little stairway that goes up to the top floor in there. But yeah, working on the little restaurant area, putting some nice big windows in, putting in some tables and chairs, um, getting some greenery around here because it was looking a bit big. But yeah, Right here what I'm working on, I do go back in later and delete some of this and just put a little round window in at the top there. So on the top floor I've got um, two other rooms there that I've sectioned off which I thought could be made into little apartments. Um, the one that's on the side that has the white building on. Um, there is an entrance to that from the bridge. There's just some little stairs going up from there um, to get into that one. I'm not quite sure if I put a door there now. I can't remember. I think I did. I think I remember to put a door there. Um, yeah, but the other one you get to from the little like walkway, little alleyway area that's gonna have a lot of the shops around. So yeah, there's not really a lot more to this now. Um, just putting in some lights, some more windows and doors, um, more plants. Oh, and I also change up one of the awnings on a building, I think, that I, I did in part one. Um, yeah, I just had the idea of making the awning like the colour of the Italian flag. Because um, I remember someone mentioned doing a gelato shop and making the, I'm sure it was that building they said could be good as um, the gelato shop so yeah I thought I would do that but yeah not much more to this like I said 
windows, doors, lights and things. So I'm going to leave it here and hopefully I will see you back for part four. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye. I wanna give you a million things Cause isn't love what it's all about And how to make you smile again Something that I wanna figure out I wanna catch I wanna catch you like every time that you fall I wanna give you the world The world that is outside your walls If I was God, I would save you Take you where you belong If I could, I would get Something new, something new then I would have what it takes Make you feel like you're safe Cause all I need is just some Someone like you, someone like you Somebody, somebody. Oh, Cause all you need is somebody